All right, another emergency press conference when it comes to coronavirus. We just found out today that Novak Djokovic and his wife Yelena just tested positive for the virus after traveling back to Belgrade, Serbia. And what else can you expect from this? I mean, <laughs> this is tough. This is really tough when it comes to this because ever since everyone found out on Twitter today that this was going on, it's very hard to not say I told you so when it comes to this information, especially finding out that Novak went back to Serbia before getting tested. We saw recently, if you haven't, if you didn't see on Twitter, that every player and their close ones, tournament directors, whoever, was getting tested in Zadar, Croatia to find out if they tested positive or negative for the virus. So far, we found out Dimitrov has tested positive for it. Borna Koric has tested positive for it. And we just recently found out that uh, Dona Vekic, who participated in the Adria Tour, tested negative. Troitsky tested positive. So did his pregnant wife, Djokovic, his wife as well, and a couple other trainers and people that were at the tournament as well. It's hard to say that people want to say and wish upon others harm because that shouldn't be the case at all. I think after the statement that Novak put out today that, yes, he did this with good intentions and, yes, he was trying to create a place where people can go to and understand that we're trying to unite together in solidarity and come together and use all the proceeds from this to go to a charity of their choice. But I don't think the precautions were met in any way. Yes, it's different from country to country, and it's different from a place of that may have less cases and that may have less amount of numbers, and they're just following the government's direction. But from a leadership standpoint, this was taken completely wrong. Like you can't, you can't hold a tournament with precautions that you took. And it's ironic that the tournament director said we took all the precautions necessary. I mean, compared to the other countries that you had, no, you weren't taking all the necessary precautions. I think out of all the photos that were shown from what was happening, only one person was captured with a mask on in the stadium. No one was six feet. No one was taking the necessary precautions. Maybe that's just because that they felt that Serbia didn't wasn't really affected, but... U.S. is seeing a number of spikes. Everywhere else is still taking the precaution. This didn't go away. Like, yes, it flattened the curve, but when you start coming back too early, that's not going to help with giant gatherings. And that's what Novak was doing. Look, he did this with good intention. Was it the right idea? Most certainly not during a global pandemic. Personally, I do not think this was the right idea at all. And I think a lot of people can back me up on this and saying Novak needs to take more responsibility than just saying sorry as the leader and president of the ATP Players Council and setting an example for everyone else around the world. This was not it. This was definitely not it. Come on. Are you serious? That's... No, it's just a no. How can you be this irresponsible and for you to go back to Serbia to get tested instead of getting tested in Croatia and then possibly self-isolating in Croatia as well? Just because you didn't have any symptoms, that means you're asymptomatic. Oh, you feel good? Doesn't mean you still had it. Come on. Use your head. There is scientific evidence and proof out there from the World Health Organization. The frustration I see in this is why he couldn't just take the test in Croatia. Why couldn't he take the necessary precautions? And I think that frustrates a lot of people. And when People don't need to gloat. People don't say, ha, 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 I'm glad that you got it. No, you don't need to say that. 
there are definitely other ways of going about it. But what we can say from this is that this was very irresponsible and that this was definitely the wrong idea and notion to present to the world from Novak. Are you kidding? Novak needs to take a serious look at what he did and from an organization standpoint and from a leadership standpoint and look back and see the backlash that he is receiving. And this is accountability. An apology is not going to do it. Yes, you can say sorry and we'll, we will take it for face value. But that's it. There's not much else we can say about it. This is very annoying. This is... This is very disappointing.